We Vietnamese love our nọ and gai, which are the northern and southern words respectively, for a category of food that can be imperfectly described as salads. Go to any Vietnamese celebration and you'll find at least one type on the table. Nọ and gai often involve shredded or julienned vegetables, quickly pickled in vinegar, then flavored with other seasonings like sugar and fish sauce. They commonly include meat or seafood, but it is easy to keep them plant-based. The types in Vietnam are endless, and many are very regional, made with local and seasonal ingredients. Today, we're making a basic nọ sash gai xoài with mango as the star. You'll find many versions of this in Vietnam with different components. What I'm showing you is a great base that you can customize. You can make this as is, or add a protein like mushroom, boiled shrimp, thinly sliced boiled pork belly, or even jellyfish or pig ears if you're adventurous. Let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need mango. I like picking one that is not ripe, but also not too green. This way you get a nice mix of sweetness and acidity. Carrots, cucumber, radish. You can use daikon or another type of radish like we're using here. Lime, chilies, garlic, fish sauce, sugar, vinegar, herbs, and peanuts. First, we'll start by peeling the carrots. Chop off the top end, then cut into 5 to 7 centimeter lengths. Julienne the carrots into long thin strips. If you have a julienne peeler or a mandolin with a julienne blade, I highly recommend using that to save time. If not, you can do this with a knife, like I'm showing here, by first cutting the carrot pieces in half lengthwise, then into thin slices like so. Then, arrange a few slices into a stack and slice into thin matchsticks. Here is our julienned carrot. Up next, radish. If you're using daikon or a similar type with a thick outer skin, Peel, cut into lengths, and julienne just like you did with the carrots. If you're using a small type like red or breakfast radish like we are doing here, wash well, then thinly slice crosswise. Daikon will give you a more uniform guy, but radishes like these add a fun pop of color. Next, we'll quickly pickle the carrot and radish. In a bowl, mix together water, vinegar, and sugar. Stir until all the sugar has dissolved. Add the carrot and radish to the pickling solution. Make sure everything is fully submerged and set aside while we prepare the rest of the ingredients. Next, trim off the ends and cut cucumber into 5 to 7 centimeter lengths, then julienne. Again, you can use a julienne peeler or a mandolin with a julienne blade or a knife like I'm doing here. Since cucumbers are not as tough, if you're using a knife, you can cut these matchsticks a bit thicker than the carrot. Next, peel your mango. Use your knife to cut from the stem end of the mango along the pit to separate the main flesh from the pit. Repeat on the other side. Make sure you trim all around the seeds so that you don't waste any of the mango flesh. Cut the mango into slices, then cut the slices into strips. Again, these strips can be thicker than the carrot strips. Strain the carrot and radish, then squeeze out excess liquid.
This is what they look like afterwards. Rinse, then pick the leaves of the herbs you're using. For mint or Vietnamese slash Thai basil, layer the leaves on top of one another and slice crosswise into ribbons. For cilantro or Vietnamese coriander, roughly chop. Save a few nice leaves for garnish. Mince garlic. If using, slice bird's eye chilies diagonally. Roughly crush peanuts using a mortar and pestle. You can also chop them with a knife or use a rolling pin. To a small bowl, add water, sugar, fish sauce, lime juice, Then stir until the sugar dissolves. To a large mixing bowl, add the carrots and radish, cucumber, mango, minced garlic, and herbs. Pour in the sauce. Then gently mix with chopsticks or tongs. Look at all those beautiful colors. Add your goi swai to a plate. Spoon some sauce over the top. Top with some crushed peanuts. Garnish with the reserved leaves of herbs and sliced bird's eye chili. If you can find them at your local Asian grocery store, I highly recommend serving your guy with bánh phồng tôm, shrimp chips. This dish is the essence of summer on a plate. Sweet, savory, acidic, crunchy, it has it all. I know the weather is starting to change, but you still have some time to make this before it gets cold. Make sure you check out our website and subscribe to our channel for more Vietnamese and French recipes.